My name is D'Artagnan Crockett, 25 years old, from Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Miles Porter. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Fremont, Ohio. My name is Cristela Garcia and I'm 37. I'm Ben Goodrich. I'm 23 years old and from St. Paul, Minnesota. Most people don't know this and they, they, they would argue with you, but judo is actually the number two practice sport in the world behind soccer. We call it VI judo, visually impaired judo. Uh, there are three categories of, of visual impairment in the Paralympics, B1, B2, and B3. Uh, B1 is pretty much totally blind, and B2 means you have better than light perception, but not quite as good as, as a B3. And then B3, which is what I am, is the best you can see. It's up to 2200. D'Artagnan Crockett at 90 kilos, he's a B3. Miles Porter uh, at 100 kilos, he's a B3 as well. Ben Goodrich at 100 plus, which is heavyweight, uh, kilos is a B3 and we have Cristela Garcia at women's 70 plus she's a B1. As a blind Latina female I pretty much have like it or not realistically I had three strikes against me but the best thing that I can do is turn what others perceive is my weakness and turn it into my biggest strength. Biggest challenge is pretty much like naysayers people telling you you can't do something you can't do this you can't do that just because they hear that you're visually impaired. Just because I'm visually impaired doesn't mean I can't do what you do every day. I have to find not only a place to train, but a quality place to train. Public transportation, sometimes I have to decide, am I going to spend two hours on a bus or do I want to spend the money to just get there more quickly? Having to prepare my own food, having to go get the food, I really have to be structured and have a really good schedule and have everything planned out and follow that plan. Training and cardio and judo and lifting and diet and work and family and everything else you add the fact that we don't drive to me it makes it even greater accomplishment for our athletes because they have so much more to overcome to be able to train the way they train i drive what's different for me and a lot of my competitors my drive a lot of times people drive is to be the best to get the gold you know, be the best athlete mine isn't necessarily be the best athlete it's to be the best version of myself to be better today than i was yesterday we always say, you know, fall down and get back up. In judo, you literally fall down repeatedly over and over and over and over throughout your career, uh, and you have to get back up. My tenacity pretty much sets me apart. Uh, a lot of people don't have that fighting spirit. When things get hard, they kind of fail. They kind of fall apart. All I've heard is no all my life, so if things get hard, it's like someone saying no, and that's when I, that's when I kind of turn it up. That's what I kind of like. My mom told me that I would have to, in a lot of cases, be twice as good at something to be considered everybody's equal, and I think it helps me just push harder, you know. I'm really tired in practice, I feel like, oh, well, the other, the other person's able to do this so much more easily, so you need to push yourself. I may not be the most skilled, the most experienced person out there on the mat, but in the end, I have that passion and the drive to do my best and outwork the person in front of me. The only difference between sighted judo and VI judo is the uh, the touch start. In sighted rules, you start about a meter apart, referee says hajime, which means begin, and you work on gripping, getting your grip so you can throw. In VI, vision impaired judo, VI judo, you start with a grip. So you have what we call kumikata, which is extended grip, one hand on the sleeve, one hand on the lapel. Both opponents have the same grip. And when the referee gives the command hajime, then you start. And everything else from there is the same. I did not have any heroes growing up. <laughs> really, like I didn't really have anyone that was leading a good example around me growing up. So you know, the motivation is all internal, basically. Coach said yesterday, um, the medals aren't one down there, they're one here. And so um, the harder you work here, the better you're going to be. And that's going to be the thing that's going to get you there, get you to that podium. Miles and D'Artagnan are definitely favored for medals. D'Artagnan was a world champion in 2014. He hosted in Colorado Springs, and he won. So he's definitely a medal favorite. Miles, they both medaled at the Paralympics in London. Uh, they've medaled multiple times, you know, medaled at world championships. Cristela has, has a shot in medals, she's a second time Paralympian. In London, I was a Paralympic athlete. When I go to Rio, I want to be a Paralympic medalist. I got silver in London, so hopefully I can get gold in Rio. Gold in Rio, of course. You can either go home with a sympathy medal or you can go home with some hardware. Meaning that you can either fight well, go out first round or whatever, and have people, oh, I'll pat you on the back, oh, you did okay, good job, I guess. Or you can really shock some people and put it all on the mat here.